Come on, big fish. I know you're out here. I can feel you. I know you're out here somewhere. Oh, he's big. He's freaking huge. Don't break off. Don't break off my line. Do not break off my line. Oh man, this might be a red. This is a huge freaking fish. Check this out, guys. This is a migrant boat. I first seen this on uh, Breakaway Tackle's YouTube channel. So I guess this is about the 12 mile marker, somewhere around there. But you gotta be crazy, man. This must be where they use this to catch fish or whatever, but it's got a freaking car engine in it. Look at that. Styrofoam on the outside. Pretty freaking cool. And you got this little handle right here. Looks like they got some kind of light. But there's some baby fish down in there. Loco. I think that means crazy, doesn't it? You gotta be crazy to get in something like this and leave Cuba, or, I mean, or wherever it came from. That's a, I mean, come on, that's pretty bad. 85, 87, 86, 95, 84, I loco. <laughs> and you got the little exhaust right here. So I'm guessing this little engine powered the little propeller that was back here that's probably buried down in the sand. What's that say right there? I don't know, man, but you gotta be, you gotta be loco to uh, freaking go across the Gulf of Mexico in something like this. I mean, that is freaking crazy, guys. Crazy. Beautiful day today, guys. Look at look at the surf, man. It's just calm. I'm sure the water's pretty clear. So this is about the 12 mile marker. I think we're gonna go down to about the 20 and then throw some lines in the water. But this is crazy, man. I would not go across the ocean in something like that. Now we got another thing, right past the migrant boat. Check this out. Somebody built a cool little thing out of the uh, trash that floats up on the, uh, the beach. Jesus is king. All this stuff they, they found on the beach and built this little thing. This is pretty cool. No vacancy, go away. The shack, help wanted. That's pretty freaking cool boots a table some of the stuff you find coming down Padre Island I mean it's what 70 miles of a uh, beach that you could drive down but it's pretty crazy man Today, guys, we are gonna try to throw some lures because the surf is really, really freaking calm. And uh, today's the day when you would do it. And I love using lures. So we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we'll try some fish bites and some salted shrimp first and see what we catch. And if we don't catch anything, then we're gonna move down the beach and, uh, you know, go to a little, right now we're at about the 17 mile marker. So we're gonna move down to between the 20 and 30 if I don't catch anything worthwhile up here. The water temperature is probably 73 degrees. The clarity where I'm at currently right now, I would say a nine out of 10. All right, let's get on with the fishing guys. Today guys, we're gonna be using some fish bites. Easy crab, blue and white. Easy shrimp green. Easy clam orange. Some fish gum, some easy shrimp pink and white. And easy flea orange and white. I also have about two pounds of salted shrimp. We're gonna start out with that and catch some bait fish and see if we can maybe catch some uh, small whiting and put them on the hook and maybe get us a shark or something. So again, from now on, I'm just gonna be salting my uh, shrimp from now on when I come out here. Things that I'm using today are from Stanfield Tackle. I'll leave a link down in the description for him. Uh, he makes really good quality products. As you can see up there, that's called the Richard Rig. Right here with the large hook. We're going to wait to, uh, I'll probably just put a piece of shrimp on there for now. 
But that's the Richard rig over here. We got some of his Pompano rigs, two hooks. Nice, pretty color, baked paint on. Over here, we're gonna be running a Richard rig, hopefully with some cut whiting and a GoFish camera so you guys can get the action underneath the water. Over here, we're gonna be running a single, uh, I believe he calls this a redfish rig. It's just a single hook. And uh, we're gonna wait and maybe, uh, well, put some shrimp on that for now. But this one, we're gonna wait till we get some cut bait. <clears throat> really, I'm overdoing it on the weight today because I really don't need that much weight. But we're gonna try to get this thing out as far as I could get it, uh, as close to the second gut as I can. When you're surf fishing, you wanna make sure you don't throw in the same distance every pole. You throw one like the second gut, one in the first gut, one in between, so on and so on. And then once you start catching fish, you, you start throwing to that area. Oh, that was a good cast. First pole in the water, guys. There is some seaweed up the beach. There was a lot of seaweed in the water up there. But down here, about 17 mile marker, uh, I see a piece here and there, but none laying on the beach hardly. It's a long ways to the back to the beach again. Bite of the day right here. Off this single hook, salted shrimp, and we got him. I think we got him. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we got him, guys. We got him, guys. Is he a big one? He's a big one. He's a big one. What do you think it is? Put it down in the comments before I pull in. Oh, shit. That bird's stuck in my line. Damn. All right. Buddy. Shit. I don't know what it is. That's the second bird that's hit my line. Uh, hey, uh, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I will get you out of there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Stay. Stay. Be calm. Damn. He got himself tangled. Good. Nope. Stop. 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 Relax. Relax. Shit. I got a fish over there and this bird's tangled in my line. The birds are being stupid today, guys. Stop. 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 There you go. Go ahead, fly off. Shit. Well, at least he could still fly. I mean, I don't know what the hell it is. I mean, that's the second time, guys, and I still have that fish over there. I was about to tell you guys how I can't use the drone because it's illegal on Padre Island because of the birds. And I was about to say that's a bunch of bull crap because I've been flying around birds the whole time I've been down here and never hit one. But apparently the birds are stupid out here on Padre Island as you just seen. So hopefully I'll still have this fish. Had to rescue the bird first. And thank God he didn't try to bite me or anything. All right, guys, what is it going to be? I, I, I'm guessing it's going to be a whiting. It's too clear of water for hardheads today. So I'm thinking whiting. Small whiting, and this was in the first gut. Oh, look at that, man. I'll be damned. There are hardheads out here in the clear of water. First fish of the day, and they say if you kiss the fish, you have better luck. Ugh. That's nasty. Here we go. We're gonna let him go. I would highly suggest that you guys go to HEB, buy some Texas raised shrimp. I don't know if it's raised on a farm or if it's raised or if it's caught out here in the Gulf. And then it's already peeled. And all you do is take a box of kosher salt. Well, I bought two boxes, it's really cheap. And uh, soak it for 24 hours. You don't have to peel it, do all that work. And uh, your shrimp will stay on. All right, this pole over here is a jigging a little bit, guys. Something messing with it. Probably another damn hardhead. Let's give him a chance, uh-oh, freaking horse flies. 
Come on, bite one more time. There he goes. There he goes. I got him, guys. I got you, you little monster. Come on. Be something besides a hard head. Like I said, guys, this is in the first gut. I'm not catching anything any further out than that. Not even getting a bite. So if we keep catching hard heads, we're gonna move on down the beach because we got another 50, what, 50 something miles. Now I'm hoping this is a good size whiting I can use as cut bait. What is it? Nope, another damn hard head, guys. Uh, we do not want these things. Man, what the heck? I'll tell you guys, I've had the the worst luck the past month. Well, mainly because of the weather. But here at 17 mile marker on pins, I only caught two hard heads and my shrimp is actually staying on the hook for like 30 minutes with nothing touching it. So we're gonna head on down that away towards uh, Port Mansfield and just go until we find something. That's, that's the only thing I know to do. Try to find the fish, man. But the horse flies are something else right here. Here we go, guys. We're just gonna head on down until we see something going on or people catching fish or something like that. I really don't know what else to do. We'll drive as far as we can till we see a spot that may look good where I could catch, you know, some whiting at least so I could cut it up and use it to catch shark and other, other game fish. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. And if you feel like thanking me hit the thanks button down there i really appreciate it thank you guys i think we found the perfect spot about the 29 mile marker maybe the 30. all these pelicans were just hitting the water here and they're all lined up here so we're gonna we're gonna throw a spoon right here and see if there's any kind of jacks out here there's something out here because they've been hitting the water there's uh lots of bird action over here i don't know if you guys could see this stuff man but we're gonna throw a gold spoon I've never tried a gold spoon and see if maybe we could hook up with something. First time I'm gonna be using a gold spoon. I usually use silver, so we're gonna see if these things work. Should be pretty damn shiny in the water. All right, so hopefully we don't scare the pelicans off. Or hopefully a pelican don't grab my brand new gold spoon. That wouldn't be good. Wow, it's deep, deeper here, man. Ain't nobody out here, guys. Whoa, shit, what the hell was that? All right, this is far as we're going after that. All right, here we go. Set my drag because these could be huge fish. You just never know. There we go. This is kind of a, <laughs> a little too lightweight for what might be out here. If we don't get a hits on this gold spoon, then we'll start using uh, the salted shrimp and all the other stuff that I brought. This thing casts like a dream, man. I mean, guys, look how smooth it is out here. Once you get past the little waves that are breaking, it, I mean, it's perfect. It's like fishing in a freaking lake. And you, get, you can see the sharks coming. Uh-oh, this one's gonna get me. Uh, yeah. Well, spoke too soon, right? Maybe we need to go a little further out. How many of you would come way out here with nobody around you for miles and wade in the water? Come on, big fish, come on. Come on, just one. Just one today. All I need is one good sized redfish, jack, trout, whatever. I'm tired of whiting and hardheads. 
come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you're out here. Let's see if we can get it further out. There we go, that's, that's a good 100 yards right there on this little bitty freaking pole. That's pretty good with a three ounce spoon. Uh, we're gonna do about five or six more casts if we don't catch anything. Oh, I, I got something, guys. I had something, damn. Ah, how did he get off? Oh, no, I got him. I got him. I got him, man. And I'm hoping that's what I think it is because it jumped out of the water. That's freaking awesome bait. Come on. We need to get him to shore, guys. Yep, that's what I think it is. It's a big old ladyfish. Come on. Come on, walk him to shore. Keep them on. They're good at throwing the damn lure. Go! No. Come on. Come on. That's excellent bait, guys. Perfect bait. Come on. Come on, big fish. Come on. Perfect. If, if I was going to catch anything, that would be it right there. Yes. Off a gold spoon. He's running actually up the beach. He's going in towards the shore. Oh, man, he broke it off. Damn. Son of a... Ah. Damn it, man. That was perfect freaking bait, guys. Uh-oh, uh look at that, look at that, look at that. There's something big over there. Look at that, guys. Holy cow. Come on, come on, reel in, reel in, damn it. Damn it, come on. You never have your damn line. It's getting further out. I need to cast out there. I don't know what the hell that was. But it's huge. It took off right here. Still out there. still out there. I don't know what the hell that is. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, oh. Damn. Do I still got him? No, shit. Did you see that? And I'm right in the brakes here. I need to... That was freaking crazy. That was freaking crazy. Again, fishing with lures and Silver spoons and gold spoons is the way to do it. Man. So that must have been a big school of ladyfish. That was a ladyfish again because it jumped out of the water. That's how it got off. All right. But you heard my real squeal. And that was another big one. Oh, this is fun. I don't care if I sit here and catch ladyfish all day. This is fun. This is what fishing, this is what it's all about. This is what surf fishing's all about, guys. I mean, getting that exciting hit when you're reeling in, I mean, there's nothing like it. This is great. Perfect conditions. And uh, this is just fun. This is a lot better than sitting waiting for something to bite on your bait. Oh, shit. Well, we don't want to do that. I should be using my Pen Battle 3 for this, because this little pole, I mean, it's, it's gonna be hard to, if I get a big fish to keep it from being spooled out. Come on, come on, do it again, man. That was great. So again, guys, about the 30 mile marker on Penn's Padre Island National Seashore. And I, I've moved twice. And right here, I seem to be getting hits on lures, so that's what I'm doing, guys. You know, like I said, if I just catch a ladyfish, I'm happy with that, because the thrill of catching them and bringing them in on this little lightweight pole is something else. But I really need one for bait. That's what I want. I don't want a big one, I want a small one. Because <laughs> this pole, man. This is a good pole if you're gonna catch something that's two or three pounds, but when you start getting up there five, six, seven, eight, and more, uh, it's gonna be hard to reel them in. Oh, 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 I got him, guys. Oh, that's a big old freaking trout. He's gonna spool me out. 
That is a huge trout, guys. That is a monster freaking trout. I'm gonna lose him. I know I'm gonna lose him. He's gonna spool me out. Oh my God, I seen him come in and hit that thing. It's a freaking monster, guys. That is a monster. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my God. Oh no. No, 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 not on this pole. That's a freaking, that's gotta be like a 30 inch trout. He is freaking huge. It's a monster, guys, a monster. Oh my God, don't, don't, don't. He's gonna spool me out, I know he is. We gotta tire him out, guys. Oh man, we gotta tire him out. We got to tire him out. On this little pole, a big old, that, that looked like a, over a 30 inch freaking trout. That is not a freaking ladyfish. That is a monster freaking trout. Oh my Lord. Tire him out, do not break the line. Do not break the line. Get away from my line, pelican. That is a monster trout. That is a monster. This is what it's all about, guys. This is what surf fishing's all about. I'm telling you, when you sit there and get a hit like that, and I actually seen him right when it come up right here, he come up and freaking grabbed it. Oh, crazy, he's going in. We need to get him in. He is a monster freaking trout. This is a monster. Oh, it's either a monster trout or, oh, he's big. He's freaking huge. Don't break off. Don't break off my line. Do not break off my line. Oh man, this might be a red. This is a huge freaking fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. No, no, don't go back out. No. Come on, guy, I'm gonna let you go. Just come in so I could show everybody. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn, he's going back out, guys. He is going back out. 30 mile marker on pins. Big, it looks like a redfish. Big bull red. Oh man, he hasn't spun me out. Oh, come on. He, but he wants to go back out. There's nothing I can do about it on this little pole, man. Oh, come on. Come on, get tired so I can drag your butt in. Get tired. This is a big monster. Come on. I'm, I'm about 20, I'm about 50 feet from the freaking beach. Come on, come on. Oh Lord, guys, this is a monster. This is a monster. And he hit it right in front of me too. I knew that freaking gold spoon was gonna pay off right here because I seen the pelicans hitting the water and I seen something big swimming out there. This is a monster freaking red. I'm afraid to get him right here. I'm gonna try to get him right here where I can lift him up. He is a monster, man. He's still fighting me. If I could get a hold of him, but I know not to lift fish out of the water like that. I think it is a big old red. I thought it was a trout, man, because it was real long. We gotta get him up on the beach. He's getting tired. And we gotta go through this deep spot here. This makes it all worth it today, guys. On a three ounce gold spoon. He is a big one. A big one. Come on, come on. Look at the size of that redfish, man. This is a giant redfish. This is all, makes it all worth it, guys. I thought it was a big trout, but it's a big red. Holy cow, holy cow. Look at that monster. Look at that, guys, holy cow. Holy cow. Off a gold spoon. On his little bitty pole. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's the second. The first one broke my line. No, it's a big redfish. Real good size one. Big guys, this is a monster.
go. Come on, big dude. Oh, crap. He's heavy, man. He's gotta be a good freaking 15, 20 pounds. I don't know. He's gotta be like, I don't know, 28, 30 inches. I don't want to measure him because guys, he's already been out of the water long enough. All right, we need to get you out here so I can get you back alive. There he is, he's moving now. Look at that. There he goes, guys. Come on. Come on, I was gonna get you out further, but you're fine. Come on, get some power there. There you go. There he goes, guys. There he goes. He's gone. Perfect. Yes, yes. Three ounce gold spoon. I'm, I'm sure glad that that redfish stayed alive, man. Because he was out of the water. I mean, I had him in this little shallow water area, but I could, it was hard to get that spoon because he almost swallowed it. He hit right up here. I mean, I, I seen him hit it. I mean, it was right in front of me. And uh, I'm telling you guys, that's what it's all about, man. On this little lightweight, freaking fierce, battle two i believe that is and this is like 12 pound braided line and this is an inshore talbera and i'm you talk about a uh, a feel good fish right there dude that that was freaking awesome that that blows everything away even catching that big bull red on my pen battle three because that's 20 pound test pulling that thing in on this little small rod and reel setup oh man that was great and like i said he hit in shallow, I mean, only two and two and a half foot of water, three foot, it was right in front of me. So we're gonna go back out of here and see if we can catch one more. That was freaking awesome. But the best thing about that whole thing, whoa, shit, I keep stepping on things, dude. Uh, excuse my language. Best thing about that whole catch was the release that he, he, he lived. I was so worried that, that he was gonna die. And they don't taste that good when they're that big. So I didn't want to have to take them home and eat them, you know, because I don't like redfish when they're over slot. But that had to be a good, I don't know. It may have been over 30 inches, 30, 32, 34. But we're going to see if we can catch one more before we call it quits, because I got a long drive back that way and the tide's coming in. So thank God I got a four wheel drive Jeep. But here we go, guys. I thought that ladyfish was something else, but you know what? That redfish, hitting right in front of me that was freaking awesome I, I i'm telling you i deserved that after everything that i've been through the past i don't know two three months but especially the past month of going out spending mega bucks on gas oh i just got another damn hit there's a big oh my god look at the size of that fish right there holy cow i don't know what that was that looked like a big old jack dude holy cow i don't know if you guys seen that there's no way in hell that this pole is going to bring that big old monster in. That was, that looked like a jack. That thing had to be, shoot, four feet, five feet. I mean, it was huge, guys. It was right in freaking front of me. But anyways, as I was saying, I deserved that. I, I have spent so much money in the past month trying to catch fish, get a video for you guys. And, you know, it, it's just unreal. I spent 38 bucks one weekend. You know, and didn't catch anything but a couple of hardheads. And when you have a fishing channel, you need to catch fish. And you guys, I know you're getting tired of me catching whiting and stuff like that. Uh, this is what I do right here. This is what I want to get back to doing. And I don't know if I want to go any further out than what I'm at because that fish was almost as big as me. And I don't know if it was a shark or what the hell it was. But there's definitely something here that they're feeding on. And uh, 
I'm sure we're gonna get another one, but like I said, this small little pole here, <laughs> if I bring one in the size of one I just seen on this little rod, oh, man, I'm gonna buy me another one of these. I need to actually get my Pen Battle 3, because if I hook into that monster fish I just seen, there's no way he's gonna spool me out for sure. I know I'm a talking a lot, guys, but I still, I still have that adrenaline flowing through me after that freaking fish. Come on, pelicans. Come over here and start hitting the water because you guys showed me where the fish are. I appreciate it. But I ain't going no further than this because that fish was almost as big as me. There ain't no way in hell I'm going, oh, 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 oh. Guys, I got another one. I got another one. I got another one. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't, but it ain't no, it ain't jumping out of the water, so it's not a ladyfish yet. Uh-oh, it's coming towards the beach. It's another big one, man. He's going towards the beach. Oh, it's a huge that one looks like a trout. Holy cow. Oh lord, that's a big trout. Oh lord, no, 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 no. Calm down, fish. I'm gonna let you go. Just come on and come in. That looks like a trout. That is a trout. Oh, Lord, no, 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 no. Guys, he's gonna spool me out. He is gonna spool me out. He's huge. There's no way I can control this fish. He's freaking huge. There is no way, no way. Come on, calm down, calm down. Oh, Lord. Lord, if you're up there, help me out a little bit. This fish went way the heck out there. He's gonna spool me out. If he gets really spunky, I'm in trouble. This looked like a trout. He's coming back towards the beach again, guys. There's some monster fish in here. I swear I've seen one as big as me, almost as big as me in front of me. So there's some monster fish here. I knew there was because all the pelicans were hanging out here. But this looks like to be a big trout. But it could be another redfish. It's going in. Nope, it's another red. It's another big red. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on. Stop. It's another giant red. Hopefully he didn't swallow that thing. Come on. Come on. Get tired, buddy. Damn. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, you were tired. I know you're tired, come on. Come in here and let me get that out of your mouth and you'll be okay. Come on, he's a big one. He's about as big as the other one that I caught. So that's two big reds today. Well, I ain't got them in yet, but Hopefully I could get that thing out of his mouth pretty damn quick. Come on. Come on, we're going, we're going in, buddy. We're going in. I know you don't want to, but... It's another big red man off a gold spoon. These gold spoons are like magic. Uh-oh, uh-oh, deeper water. He is a monster. I keep thinking it's a trout because I see that back tail. It ends up being a uh, a redfish. Number two, guys. Well, can't count them yet. I ain't got them in. Oh, yeah, he's a good sized red. He is a nice red. And it's right on his lip. It's right on his lip. Oh, he could easily get off, guys. It is right on his lip. He is a nice Nice fish, nice. He ain't ready to come in yet. He ain't ready. Oh man, this is another nice red. Over slot again. They love that gold spoon. So moving today from the 17 to the 30 was worth it because that's the second big red I've caught today. 
Yes. I got him in. Come on. All right, second big red, guys, is right in the lip. Huh? Yeah, this is the second one I've caught, and then there's one out there that's freaking massive. I swear it's almost as big as me. It was right in front of me. I got a 28 inch and a 21 inch in the, 21 inch in the ice chest. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the second one. The other one was a little bit bigger than that one, but there is a big, huge fish out there. I mean, it's a monster. See you later, thanks. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Off a gold spoon. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that monster. Oh, yeah. Now we got to release him. He's gone. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Man, this was a freaking blast today. I haven't had a day like this uh, since before the freeze. Remember the freeze? When was it? In 2021? Um, somewhere around there. I don't remember. A couple of years ago. So before the freeze, I used to have days like this uh, pretty much every weekend, you know? But I haven't had a day like this in a long time. It felt good to finally get out here and throw some damn spoons some lures you know uh whatever a rooster popper probably would have worked out here today but it happened to be the gold spoon that was the key um so two you know over slot size redfish uh two huge uh ladyfish aka skipjack i mean those things were big one of them broke my line took my brand new gold spoon and the other one just got off and then a couple of hardheads. So I would say this wasn't a bad day at all. So guys, you know, anytime you come down the pins, I would go between the 10 mile marker and the 30 mile marker is where you're usually gonna find, you know, some good fishing. I have caught some fish up around the five and six, uh, but down here in this area, for some reason, the water seems to be deeper right off the shore and, uh, it just i don't know if it's the currents or what down here i don't know that much about this area but it it makes excellent fishing down here anyway guys appreciate you watching this video man like i said hit that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the thanks button down below if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or anything i appreciate it guys have a good work week peace <laughs>